Okay, today I'm excited. I'm gonna upgrade the trolling motor on my boat. Um, I'm gonna put the new Ultrex on it. I'm gonna install the 24 volt, 80 foot pound Ultrex. And I'm gonna replace this Minn Kota Maxim. Anyways, it's been a fantastic trolling motor, but I really wanna get one that's got the spot lock and some of those advanced features that I can use. And so I'm gonna do the uh, upgrade to the Ultrex. And yeah, so we're going to get started here. First thing I got to do is get the old troll motor removed and uh, get started on my install. So here we go. Okay, we just pulled the old Trex out of the box and it comes with some good styrofoam padding around there. We did get the Minn Kota Maxim removed and we've got several bolt holes here where it's had some different troll motors installed over the years. So we're going to go work on getting the new ones installed. I also purchased the uh, Minn Kota quick release bracket. And uh, now this has a couple of things. This allows you to take the trolling motor off. If you were to go stay at a hotel or something and want to, you know, lock it up inside the truck or, or bring it in so it doesn't get stolen. And so I was thinking that if I get another one of those removable brackets, for my 330V that I'll be able to move the Ultrex between boats. So that's the goal. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and take the top off, see what's all came in the package. All right. And so we've got Like the bottom of the trolling motor, got the base. All right, so I've got the quick release bracket that we're gonna need to mount, but we need to get the trolling motor mounted to this portion of the bracket and then get the motor on here to try to figure out where we need to mount the hockey puck. Cause this is gonna be the part that stays on the boat. And then the whole motor is gonna be able to come off with this part of the bracket. So I've got the motor set up over here on a workbench. After the unboxing, got the different accessories laid out, and then I've got the base of the trolling motor right here. And so I need to get this mounted up. Now this mount does have a relief here that's made for the strap. So we wanna make sure that we've got that, that lined up and in there. So we're gonna put that here. And then on the bolt pattern on the old tracks, to access these bolts, I had to remove this access panel. <clears throat> and there's three number three bit screws that you unscrew to get this off. And this kit does come with some stainless steel screws and bolts that we're going to use to attach the base. Lay that over here. Now we just need to figure out which hole pattern that we want to use. I've got the bottom base installed. I used about some one inch bolts and stainless nuts that came with the kit. And it used a 11 millimeter deep socket with an Allen wrench to hold that and get it installed. And I used the six mounting bolt locations. One thing that was a little odd about this mount is I noticed that it's not exactly square underneath the the base and so after some debate I just decided to go ahead and install it uh, like that and uh, anyways I also made sure to get the strap installed you've got this little relief space for the strap and then another good idea is also think about how that strap's going to be oriented when you put the motor on your boat um, if you've got the buckle on the outside there, then the extra length when it's 
undone, isn't gonna be you know flopping on the outside of the boat. And so now that we've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover plate back on the base. Because you have to remove this in order to access the bolt holes uh, on the outer outer side. So we're gonna install that. Seems to be a little bit harder to get back on there with this base on there. Oops, just that. Oh, it was just this this top plastic portion. You got to make sure that you get that centered. Okay, that's that's better. and then get the number three screws installed. I had a little bit of trouble getting that out of there. I want to be careful not to break any of this plastic. I'm a pretty new trolling motor. There we go. So the jigsaw puzzle. We just had to move it around till it all lines up perfect being plastic can be brittle you don't want to just slam it in there and have things break on you and you want to start all these by hand before you put any power to them and we'll just give them a little a little cinch boom and then we're going to reinstall this plastic cover to help keep from getting any unnecessary scratches when we get this motor installed. All right, so we got our base on there, got our strap. And so the next thing that we need to do is get the trolling motor installed on here. And that way when we put it on the boat, um, we can have it aligned correctly uh, we don't want the motor head hanging over too far. We want need the end of the trolling motor setting at the edge of the boat just right. And that's going to tell us where we need to get that uh, puck installed on the boat. I like that fish more. That's what we want to do. Get this installed and fish some more. All right. Let me see if I can get this turned around. This is the bolt that's going to attach our trolling motor to the base. I'm going to take out this Allen head screw as soon as we find the right size. 
Nope. Not standard. So we need to see if we can find a metric size. Or the size that fits it here. Nope. Okay, now I need to mount the trolling motor head onto uh, the support bracket and uh, there's some notches here on the head that are gonna slide into here. And there's a bolt we removed from the packaging that we're gonna install right in here to hold it together. So I've kind of got this set up in a way where I can get it installed. So I can lift the motor up here. And as you can see, these little slots here, we're gonna want these notches to slide up into those slots. So we're gonna position it here. Okay, and so you can see now it's in the slots. And so now there's just a bolt that holds that on right here, so then we need to install that bolt. It might be good to have an assistant hold this because it's just kind of balancing right here. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll move these items out of the way. And the next item that we want to install is the lift assist mechanism. Okay, now we need to install the lift assist shock. So I had to refer to the installation manual there. Um, you wanna lay this down flat and then you can install the rod there. And it does have these plastic spacers on each side. Which you're gonna to wanna to put in there too. I can't even kind of line it up there. And then we need to put a plastic spacer on the other side.
All right, so now we can start installing our screws to hold it into position. We're just gonna need a screwdriver on each side of it. Now that we've got the troll motor together, got the head unit on, the stabilizer shock on, we need to go get this situated on the boat to try to figure out um, the best position for it. And once we have that, then we're gonna use our, our template and we're gonna drill the holes for our puck, which uh, our removable bracket is gonna hold the troll motor on the boat. Okay, now I've got the trolling motor just on here loose and I'm positioning it to just to see how it's going to fit on the front. And when you install these, you want at least an inch and a half between the shaft and the front of the boat. And so we've, we've got that. You can have a little more than that, but we want to make sure that we've got some good clearance. And now I'm going to fold this down and make sure that it position is positioned good on the boat. And um, that way we can start putting on our, our puck to get this mounted up. So I've got the trolling motor positioned here on the front of the boat. And I also want the trolling motor head to stick inside of the edge of the boat. And that way, if we come up to a dock or anything, that way the motor is not gonna get damaged. And then, so once we've got the motor positioned like that, I just took a, a Sharpie and drew kind of an edge around the frame there, the base of uh, where we need to put our template so we can get our holes drilled for the puck. I have the template taped onto the boat and what this template is for is to tell us where our hockey puck needs to go and this is the part uh, that's going to stay mounted to the boat and of course the removable part of the base we've already installed on the Ultrex and so I've got this marked with a Sharpie after we decided where it needed to go. Unfortunately, there's a couple of holes here. It would have been nice if we could have used the old holes, but this is an old boat. It's had some different brand uh, trolling motors and where this old Trex needs to fit is gonna be a little different. So we're gonna have to go with some new holes. Um, and then on our cardboard template, it says to drill 1764. So we've got that size to drill bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> see how it measures up with our puck get that installed and then now with the puck installed I'm going to use that to help make sure that we get the last holes in the right position going in reverse order again So now we're going to pull off our puck. Gonna remove our template. Got some mini holes here. We're trying to figure out which ones are the ones that we need. Make sure to leave the dust here so we know which ones we need. Here, let's go. Lift it 
it up. We're gonna slide it on. Okay, for the test fit, we're going to install the handle. All right, perfect. So now we can pull the handle back out of the way, move this trolling motor off to the side, and then finish installing the nuts and washers on the bottom of our lower plate. Okay. You grab this trolling motor, look up. Okay, and we need to move this out of the way. Here. Now I'm going to need your help. Now it came with these size washers, but I had some larger fender washers, so it doesn't hurt to put a little extra, a little extra space on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's very important we don't cross thread that one. They're stainless, it's easy to cross thread. Okay, just to show you with the uh, plate mounted on the boat, just kind of to demonstrate how it goes together. Um, I did take this back apart. I've, I've had this finished and I've had this out on the water, testing it out, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But now that we had this plate screwed on um, and the plate screwed on the bottom of the trolling motor, it's a pretty easy step to to install it you just set it over on top of the plate and then you'll take this put it through the holes and so now you have to wiggle it around a little bit and get it installed and it comes with just a little little clevis pin but you can also install a lock on there um, because part of the thing with this being easy to remove is that you can take it off to prevent it being stolen or you can put a lock on there so you know if you're unable to do that you can just lock it so it's not uh, too easy to take off um, but there's the uh, install and like i said i've had this out on the water uh, quite a few times and I've really been enjoying having the old tricks on my boat of course the main feature that I really enjoy is the spot lock feature and one of the reasons for that is if you're just need to anchor your boat and you've caught a fish and 
trying to wrestle between getting the fish off the hook or if the wind's blowing you into the rocks or whatever. When I've got that spot lock feature, I can just set it and then take care of what I need to take care of and know the boat's gonna stay where I need to. And then of course also, if you're fishing and you find that good spot and you wanna kinda of stay in that same area to give it a shot, then uh, you can hit the spot lock and it'll do that for you. So that's what I've really enjoyed about this trolling motor. And so far so good, I haven't had any issues with it. It's been working great. And uh, anyways, that's how I did the install on this boat. And so I hope that uh, that can help you out. And uh, please like and subscribe.